I just watched this video on Conor McGregor, tremendous, tremendous martial artist and fighter, uh, great entertainer, great entrepreneur. Um, you know, he has his whiskey, a brand, you know, true, true uh, success story. But the problem is when he was coming out of a Fountain Blue hotel, someone, a fan who admires him very much, took a picture of him. The fan did not ask his permission. Okay. I'm going to try to be like on both sides here of the coin. I get it. I understand why he's angry. Maybe, you know, it was rude that the guy didn't ask his permission, but he takes the guy's, he slaps the guy's phone out of his hand, starts breaking it into pieces, stomps on it like several times. Then he picks up the broken phone and decides he wants to keep it and walks away with it. That's not cool. Okay. <laughs> He got arrested for that. He got arrested. Um, here's the way I see it. I get it. Being a star has a lot of pros and cons. Pros, the guy's worth $200 million. Cons, people admire you and they want to take pictures of you. Maybe you should have thought about that and chose a different line of work. I mean, I'm trying to be fair. Like, this, this is the other side of the coin. How many people would like to trade places with you and have your success? And for what? To uh, appreciate the people who got you there? To appreciate the fans? I think you should appreciate the fans that got you there. Okay? Because with, without them, you would be nothing. That's my opinion. I would appreciate my fans if I got to that level of success. I appreciate my fans now. All right? So that's just the eight father's feelings on that matter. Wow! Video is not financial advice. Not a financial planner. Video is for entertainment purposes only.